So once we have our points plotted, and notice on my left graph I used a scale of one unit, while on my right I used a scale of two units, so they do appear to be slightly different sizes. But once I have the points plotted, I can draw my triangles. She knows I get a right triangle for the blue triangle. And I also get a right triangle for the red triangle. The blue triangle has a side that's length 8 and a side that's length of 6. I found the 8 from taking the y, coord the y coordinates here and realizing that 6 minus negative 2 is 8. I realized the 6 by taking the x coordinates here. 4 minus negative 2 is 6. So this triangle has sides of length 6 and 8. For my red triangle, I can look at the y coordinates again, see that this is a size of 6, and that side is 8. This comes from 13 minus 5, and the 6 comes from 7 minus 1. So both these triangles are right triangles, and both have a side of 8 and 6. Most of you have probably now reasoned through and realized that the hypotenuse of both triangles must be equal, because x squared must equal 6 squared plus 8 squared, and y squared must equal 6 squared plus 8 squared. Thus, x must equal y, and so all three sides of these triangles are congruent. Meaning, and here's the congruency statement, that triangle ABC, and let's make sure we match this appropriately, so A is sides 6 and the hypotenuse, which up here is point D. B is the right angle, which here is E. and C is between the 8 and the hypotenuse, which over here is F. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, and this is by the side, side, side postulate. Okay, one last example. This is a multiple choice example. Let F, triangle FGH be an equilateral triangle with points J as the midpoint of segment FG, which of the statements below is not true. Take a moment, work through the example, resume the videos when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, I want to take this bit by bit, bit by bit. So I start with triangle FGH. I'm just going to draw a general triangle and label this F. G, H. I know that this is an equilateral triangle, so all three sides are congruent. And we have J as the midpoint of FG. So these two segments are congruent. So let's see, FH congruent to GH. Well, we have side FH side GH, which we actually know are congruent because they're equilateral. So that statement is true. Say FJ congruent to FH. That one is not true. That one is false. But let's go through the rest to make sure that those are true. FJ congruent to GJ is true. And triangle FHJ, FHJ congruent to triangle GHJ. That one is also true. So our false statement is the second one.